Good morning, lovelies. Dr. Lucy Burns here from Real Life Medicine. Just past eight o'clock, I am up. I haven't washed my hair or done anything, but you know, I wanted to get on at eight o'clock before I've actually had all my life. Perhaps I've done all my, what do they call them? Evolutions. So this morning, uh, this week, we've been talking about stress, uh, health and weight loss and how they're all interconnected. Good morning, Kim. Hello, Steph, how are you? So one of the things, so we've talked the first few days about what stress is and how it's a physiological response to what's going on in our mind and how it's part of our evolutionary process. And it was lovely, hello Sue, and kept us beautifully safe. But in our modern society, it is no longer as useful in keeping us safe and in fact causes us harm. And that stress is a prolonged inflammatory response rousing our cortisol, good morning Em, and really just making um, our body unwell, I guess is the summary of it. Hello Pip, you're a gorgeous girl, you're always on. So yesterday I gave you a technique on having um, some deep breathing, good morning Susan, and the idea that you could do square breathing or triangle breathing and what that does is it sends a very clear message from our body to our brain that we um, that there is no threat, that there is nothing to be worried about. Because remember, people with, uh, again, as an evolutionary point of view, nobody stood in front of a, a saber-toothed tiger, a bear, a lion, and did some lovely deep breathing. So we really have to embrace that. It's so easy. Like I go, deep breathing, very strong message to your brain that there is nothing to worry about. It's free. It's portable. There's no side effects unless you go a bit crazy and over breathe and hyperventilate, in which case you'll get dizzy and tingly lips. But other than that, imagine, I mean, this is what I think, imagine if a drug company could make a tablet that reduced your cortisol, that made you feel calm, that told your brain you were safe, that had no side effects, that was portable and cheap. Anyway, we've got all that within us, so we can do that with ourselves. So that's the top up approach. Bottom down, uh, sorry, that's the bottom up. The top down is from your brain to your body. Now, the other thing, so we talked yesterday about the idea that we can control our breath as our part of our autonomic response. The other thing that we can easily control in our body is our muscle tension. So a lot of the time we spend our time clenched and we don't realize until people come and see me and they'll go, oh, I've got this jaw pain, I've had it for weeks. And then they find out they spend half their time clenching their teeth. People get neck pain because they spend half their time sitting like this. Um, pelvic pain can become because we spend a lot of our time clenching our pelvic muscles. So our glutes and our pelvic floor is just spent, um, you know, clenching. And Again, we're not supposed to do that. We're supposed to be relaxed. So checking in with your body multiple times a day, you can actually notice what you're doing unconsciously or subconsciously, and that is holding tension. And it makes sense, because when we're stressed, everyone goes, oh, it's stress, and they all do this, okay? So spending some beautiful time actually just relaxing your body is, again, another super therapeutic thing to do. It's cheap, doesn't cost you any money, doesn't have any side effects, it's portable. You can do it at any time, you can do it multiple times a day, it doesn't take a lot of time, it doesn't take a lot of effort. In fact, it takes uneffort because it is actually effortful to clench. Part of the clenching thing is that um, a lot of you may know we talk about the beach ball analogy. So a beach ball is like you've got a ball um, and I'm doing two cameras, so I'm looking a bit weird. So you've got a ball, and that ball might be negative uh, emotions or difficult emotions or uncomfortable emotions or feelings, and you don't want them. So we hold them down. We hold them really tight. And then eventually, if we're not concentrating, they explode out. You can see all that tension in our body holding tight. In your mind, if you can imagine that you're just loose and calm, the opposite of 
fight and flight is rest and digest. So when we're resting, we're just lying around. And the weird thing is, right, sometimes I'm, I'm a really good sleeper. I've done a lot of sleep training on myself because I was a terrible sleeper. I'm now really good at it. Every now and then though, I'll hop into bed and I'm thinking, why can't I go to sleep? And then I realize I'm lying in bed like this and I have to do this ah, uh, sinking into the bed. So just spend some time. I have this funny thing I call the gorilla pose. So what the gorilla pose is, is you hang your jaw down, you drop your arms forward and you lean forward a bit and you do this. Uh, it's very hard. Hello, Mary Beth. It's very hard to be stressed when you're like this. It's very hard to hold tension when you've got your arms forward hanging down and your jaw uh, open. So that's a really good technique, just to try, perhaps when no one's looking, because you do look a bit weird. Um, but practice, don't have your shoulders up the ears, soften your jaw, relax your glutes, okay? Just think about them sinking into the chair that you're sitting on. Lovely, so that's it for today. I'm gonna leave you with a little thing that makes me cross, but I'm not going to get stressed about it. My husband was just telling me that there is an, um, asthma medication, an asthma uh, drug company that makes um, puffers and asthma medications that is, uh, has got a couple of kind of takeover bids, I don't know about the stock market. Anyway, it's got two, two takeover bids. The, the better bid is by Philip Morris. So cigarette company wanting to buy a asthma medication company, where's the irony in that? They may not be successful because the Board, boards of this company are very clever and have worked out that in protest, doctors would probably not prescribe that brand of asthma medication if they know it's owned by a cigarette company. However, I said to my husband, you know what, there's already a precedent for this. Nestle, who, as we know, market Milo to children, market all their chocolate, all, all of their products, also, own a, a drug company that makes weight loss medication. So all of the uh, common drugs that people use for weight loss are owned by Nestle. So you spend all your time as a company encouraging people to eat all their food, making our community fat and unhealthy, and then we sell, sell them the solution. Here's a weight loss pill. I could possibly get myself a bit tense about that, but I'm not going to because it's not gonna help me. And at the end of the day, the only person that being tense and up this affects is me. So I'm gonna take note of that and work out what could I do to be part of the solution that doesn't actually have any impact on my health. Lovelies, I know, Can you? I saw a little one of those emojis that does this. Lovelies, have a wonderful day. Calm, deep breathing, relaxed. I will see you tomorrow for the final instalment of stress, health and weight loss. Uh, if you're not already in our group, please go over and join. It's called uh, Low Carb Real Food. Yes, Low Carb Real Food uh, by Real Life Medicine. And obviously we talk a lot about low carb and we talk, oh, excuse me, a lot about real food. Um, and just so that you know, coming up, in case you haven't heard, and we will be talking a lot more about it in the next couple of weeks, so please forgive us if we're boring you. But uh, we, our next round of the 12-week Mind Body Re Rebalance starts, um, and it's obviously 12 weeks, it's our last one for the year, so we're really excited about that, and we've got a few changes in it, which have, you know what I love? I love feedback from people. I love customer feedback, customer, as if I think of you guys as customers, but, that phrase goes together. Because what it does is it helps us improve the experience. So we've got a few things that we're changing, tweaking, based on some beautiful feedback from some really lovely, trusted people. And uh, we look forward to it. All right, beautifuls, I'm off to go and have a shower, wash my hair, and um, I will see you tomorrow. Bye, souls.